It's been said that Rico, Rico is smoking hot. Smoking hot. Check these puppies out. Check these ribs out. Spare ribs done on the Oklahoma Joe. We did a little smoke here with LJ the pig today. We uh, did a spare ribs and a pork chop. We did the three, two, one method where we did three uncovered and uh, we just kind of hot mopped it. And then we did the uh, and then we did the uh, two hours covered in foil with some money, honey, honey, money in it. Then we unwrapped it for an hour and they're ready to come off. Three, two, one. Changed a few things. I didn't put as much butter and honey and uh, brown sugar on them when I wrapped them. <laughs> these are good. These are excellent. Those are right on. Now, if these are done right, you should be able to just bite it and it comes off. You shouldn't have to pull it. It should come right off the boat. Rico here. Rico's place. Welcome back. It's, uh, I got to watch this weather report, the local weather report, because I came out going to, Daisy, I don't know what she's barking at. But I was going to do a little smoke out here this morning and I get out here and there's, there's fog rolling in again. And I, I didn't realize that we haven't had any rain. I don't know why it's real foggy. But I, uh, I thought, I thought we would, uh, we would smoke some spare ribs that I got back from LJ, and then uh, I got one pork chop, and I marinate them in uh, a, a, a thing. I'll show you the bottle a little later. Stubbs, Stubbs marinate, and I put some Stubbs spice on it, barbecue spice. And I'm, uh, I'm going to throw these in the Oklahoma Joe this morning for y'all. Coffee pot on the uh, on old Ray over there. Fire in the firebox here. Ribs and a pork chop here we're going to smoke for lunch. We'll cover them. Okay, I'm going to let the, uh, the firebox of the Oklahoma Joe uh, get the right amount of coals and stuff in it and I'll come back and I'll put the meat on it. We already got a water pan in here. I'll add some water to it when I come back. And we're gonna we're gonna do a little smoke. A little smoke. Temps up to about 300. We're gonna try to cook these spare ribs at 275-ish. I had a hard time the other day when I was smoking of keeping this at 250, 275 for some reason. I think we need to do some sealing on the machine here and uh, some modifications, maybe some gaskets put on, whatever. But we're gonna get those stuff in here, get them going and uh, probably do the 321 method, which is what, six hours on these ribs. We'll, uh, we'll go do uh, three Uncovered, two covered, we'll throw a little honey and butter, not a lot, but a little honey and butter in it. Maybe a little brown sugar. And then we'll do that for two hours, and for an hour we'll do it. And they should be right. They should be falling off the bone at that point. We got some uh, spare ribs from LJ. And then here, we have this little, uh, little pork chop. What I'm gonna do with this pork chop is I'm gonna get it smoked and done, and then I'm gonna heat up if the fire's still hot enough, I'm going to heat up my little cast iron pan with the grooves in it and put some grill marks on it and sear it. But we're just going to get these things in there. We're going to go fat side up. That way maybe some of that fat will uh, render. I like watching the steam from the coffee pot. I will check this in an hour. I'll check it every 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm cleaning the house so I won't, I won't sit in my chair. In fact, I'll, I'll turn the news off and just put on some, uh, some, some rock and roll tunes. Stay on task today. If I can get old Mr. Wilkie to help me build a smoker, I wanna, I wanna build a vertical one with shelves and a bigger firebox, longer and bigger, so I can have like an actual good fire in there. I got an idea in my head what I want. I guess I just got to buy the steel and do it. Or one in the bank. Um, what I'm going to do, I usually have a, a sprayer. It's like a 
It's a livestock sprayer, but it's like a little pump weed sprayer that I put, uh, usually I put apple juice and uh, garlic oil and maybe a, a, a beer in it. And then I, I, I baste or I spray or I spritz. I think they say that spritzing. But I couldn't find my sprayer and I want to take it with me to Arizona, which means I may have to go buy a new one. Or look there, I might I'll probably find one there, I guess. It's not a California deal. So instead, I'm going to mop the meat each time. Okay? Now, mopping, for lack of a better terms, is because they make a little mop. It looks like your kitchen mop, but it's a little mop. And so you get a hot liquid, doesn't matter what it is. I'll go over what mine is here in just a moment. But you, you mop the meat. You, you just, you mop it. And uh, so, a mop I made is I went with uh, some apple cider vinegar. I put some Worcestershire sauce in it. I put an 805, it's not a dark beer, but it's not a light beer. How to put a little bit, oh, the Kraken's empty. How to put a little Kraken in it. And then some uh, brown sugar. So then I brought it up, I, I heated it up on the stove inside, brought it out. Now it's been on the warmer here of the hot box, so that'll keep it warm throughout the cook. And I'm just gonna open this thing up. Now I couldn't find my mop. I have this little tiny moppy thing. I couldn't find it, so. I'm gonna improvise. I got a sock. And I think this is a sock I don't have the match to. So I'm gonna use this sock and I'm gonna dip it in the mop and then mop the meat. I think that'll be okay. Ooh, those look good. Those look really good. These, these look excellente. Take a look at these. Yeah, I'll be back in uh, hour two. Okay, hour two, well, actually hour two and a half, I kind of got sidetracked in here. So let's go ahead and uh, look at these again. Woo. These look really good, let's mop them. Those look really, really good. All right, I'm gonna check back in uh, hour two, hour three, three and a half, and then we'll probably wrap them. It's been about three hours, three and a half hours. Uh, our temp is at 225. I want to get it up a little higher. I'm going to be here all day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now and wrap it in some foil, put some money honey on it, put it back in for two hours. Shutter down. We're gonna open up the vents. I'm done with the coffee. We're just gonna load this up with hickory. We'll let that get started. The hickory is gonna ignite. It's gonna get a nice start going. I'm gonna shut it down. Open up the, the vent a little more. Let this go two hours in here. It's been a couple hours maybe. So we're gonna turn this over. I'm gonna shut this back down. I put a couple pieces of almond wood on the fire. We're gonna let that ignite, bring the temp up a little bit. When the temp gets up, I'm gonna unwrap it and leave it back on for an hour and then we will be done. Holy moly, I forgot how much it is. I wish I could just sit out there and enjoy, enjoy the, enjoy the smoke doing it. But trying to do things, get ready to go to Arizona, all that kind of stuff, it just makes it hard to uh, do this. But I'm having fun and, I'm, and they're looking good. We're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna unwrap it, put it back on, probably for another hour, and then it should be done. Let's take a look. Woo mother may I? Hot potato. Yeah, this is looking tasty.
gonna go ahead and shut this down here and uh, we got the vents open. We're gonna, we got wood going in here. That's it guys. Woo! All right guys, we did it. We did some pork spare ribs and they are pulling off the bone. They're ready to eat. Look at these things. LJ at his best right here. I'm hoping they're good. I'm hoping. They look like a dinosaur rib, but they're good. All right guys, that's all I got for you tonight on this video. This tie-dye, uh, this is Rico, the tie-dye cowboy. Man, I'm wishing you and your family well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Salute, my friends. All right, that's, these are actually pretty good.